Oh no, man. Just one big old load of bullshit. What's up, guys? This is the Gospel According to Mark with a C. He is I and I am he. Just taking some time to tell you exactly what's on my mind. And guys, before I get started, I just want to say, um, this is not the best day for me. This is, uh, the 10 year anniversary of, uh, when we lost my brother. So, uh, it affects me in all different kind of ways, alright? So, um, you know, I'm a little bit distracted by that, but I want to do this video anyway because I just got through watching the uh, Rise of Skywalker Star Wars Episode 9 trailer, alright? This is called the final trailer for some reason. I mean, this, as far as I know, this has been like the first real trailer, right? It's like everything else was kind of like a taste or a teaser, but this one they're calling the final trailer. This is like that furniture store that's going out of business, you know what I mean? So they gotta hype it up and give you this false sense of urgency. Like, get down here, we're practically giving it away, you have to act on this now, run, run to your online website and buy your pre-sale tickets and, uh, you know, so anyway, everybody's supposed to go running to this thing and get all hyped up over it. But uh, guys, ooh, I, what I saw, it, it hurts, guys. I mean, it really hurts. I was hoping against hope that maybe JJ could pull this one out. But from what I'm seeing, it's like I'm getting some major negative vibes about this. I mean, this is supposed to be the longest running uh, Star Wars movie, like as far as the length time, the running time of the film, right? Why in the trailer do you only see like what, like two or three different locales? It's like it's either raining and it's dark or it's... um on uh what is it uh, a jungle planet you know actually the whole thing looks like a dream sequence you know because it starts off ray is running across like the jungle then she jumps over a divide and she lands inside of some what seems to be wreckage or underground cavern so it's like she's probably dreaming this you know and um you got luke talking about how um uh, confronting fear is the destiny of the jedi it's like luke what the fuck like how do you know it's like you just spent how long like isolating yourself closing yourself off from the force because you were afraid you know what i mean like in the last trailer you're saying the jedi must end and in this one you're talking about the destiny of the jedi like what the hell man it's like at this point i'm kind of not listening to jake skywalker you know what i'm saying i could do without his voiceover all right so it goes on and uh, what is it? You see Rose Tico there. I'm sure that makes some people happy. Um, you know, you got uh, the Emperor talking or what appears to be the Emperor talking. I don't know if that's a recording or whatever. But there's just not a whole lot to be invested in. It's like you got C-3PO looking like he's about to get reprogrammed. He wants to take a final look at his friends. And um, <clears throat> I don't believe for one minute that he's talking about uh, Finn, Poe, Ray. You know, I no. It's like I think that he's probably looking at a hologram or something that R2 is showing him. And it's probably Han, Luke, Leia, you know, and that kind of thing. That's the only thing that makes any sense because he has no friendship with these people. They spent the last two movies really not even interacting with one another. They're not even friends, friends with each other at this point. It's like in the original trilogy, by the third one, those people had been through fire together. They were a family. It was about saving each other as much as it was about saving the rebellion and the cause and speaking of cause there's no cause here man it's like what are they fighting for what is ray fighting for why is she even there you know other than to find out who she is and that's just not good enough when you're talking about the end of the skywalker saga because um even if she does turn out to be a skywalker which is a strong possibility um, the last two movies went out of their way especially episode eight to tell us that she was nobody you know, so there's no real emotional investment in this, even if she does turn out to be a Skywalker, you know, because there's no big reunion that's going to happen here. I mean, obviously, all of the people from the OT are dead um, that matter, you know, so um, there can be no payoff. It just looks so clunky. And I probably think probably about 20% of this trailer is probably not even going to be in the damn movie in the first place. You know, it looks very disjointed. As a matter of fact, when I was watching Poe talk, maybe it's me, but when he says, uh, uh, hey there, 3PO, what are you looking at? It's like, if you look at him, he looks a little weird, man. It's like, I don't even know if that's his voice that's synced up coming out of his lips. It just seems very weird to me, you know? So, um, yeah, like I said, disjointed. Um, the music, as always, John Williams is doing his thing, you know, like really, really amping it up to like 11. And, um, and that's great, man. Like I said, it's going to work for a lot of people. You already got Raylos out there who are claiming victory just because you got uh, Kylo and, and Ray looks you know, they're sharing some uh, time together there on the screen, uh, doing God knows what. It looks like they're striking down some type of statue. Uh, man, it's just, there's not much in the way of plot. You know, I can understand not wanting to give away plot, but you're not giving, 
you know you're not giving away plot but you're not giving away reason either at least you should have a reason for all of this to be happening you know but no it's like i don't see that there's no reason for it there's no there's nothing that shows me that this should be a climax to anything you know what i mean like the the, the emotional stakes they're just not there so um i don't know guys it's like i'm not going to go on and on about this but uh, this doesn't change anything for me. It's like I'm not going to be paying to see this. This is like the biggest fabricated money grab in the history of film. I truly believe that. There's no reason for this story to exist. Um, the the so-called Skywalker ended with Return of the Jedi. All right. There's no way that you can watch the original trilogy and think that there was more to tell after that. As far as the um, you know like the uh, the conflict you know between the Skywalker the Jedi's and the Sith. And everything it's like of course there are going to be stories after that but here's where i believe kathleen kennedy really dropped the ball okay when they announced that there was going to be a sequel trilogy i always understood that they were reinvigorating the star wars brand so there was going to be like more star wars they were going to open up this vast universe and this vast world i believe that's what george lucas believed as well you know but who knew by the end of three movies here, you know, in this so-called Skywalker saga, you'd be talking about the end and final and all this stuff. That's not the way it's supposed to work. It should have worked where by the end of this one, it opened up a whole new world. You know what I mean? Instead of closing it up. This is how ass backwards they are over at Lucasfilm. You know, good job, Kathleen Kennedy. That's where you fucked up. It's like you should have used your three original characters and Lando. You should have used them to maximum effect, to interact with new characters so that everyone would love them. So that when they got either killed or stepped down, going on into the future, you would love these people because you already saw that the originals love them. But you have very minimum interaction between the old crew and the new crew where there's no emotional attachment whatsoever. Therefore, the audience doesn't feel that. That's not just the old heads. That's all of us. You know, so you're selling this as a spectacle. I'm sure a lot of people are going to run out and, you know, want to go see this. The shills are all over the place trying to drum up business. But, um, you know, those of us who are real Star Wars fans who really wanted this to be good, who want to have a deeper understanding of the Star Wars universe, this doesn't do it for us. All right. And um, like I said, I won't be spending money on it. I believe I'm in good company with that. So, um, you know, that's just where I stand. Now, guys, uh, tell me what you think, all right? Does this trailer, does it change anything for you? Does it get you excited to see this thing? Um, you know, do you feel like they dropped the ball? What could it, they have done that could have been better? Uh, get in the comment section and let me know, all right, guys? And uh, you can like, you can share, you can subscribe, as always. When you do, please hit the notification bell. I would appreciate it. And, of course, you can catch me on Twitter. I will be there. All right, guys, that's it for now. I will catch you on the next one. This is The Gospel According to Mark with a C. Rock on.